I'm Samuel Honnold, and this is what's not in the news. The Honorable Rex Tillerson, Secretary of State of the United States, is on his Five Nation Latin America tour. He has departed from Mexico and has moved on to the nation of Peru. In Mexico, what hit the news was his public speaking about Russian involvement in various nations' presidential elections. In July, the Mexican presidency is up for vote. And one of the very strong candidates, there are two, one is uh, from Enrique Peña Nieto's party, his chosen candidate. This is the uh, candidate of what we call dedazo, that is the hand-picking. The other candidate is AMLO, uh, Lopez Obrador. He is a socialist candidate and has had significant talk with Putin in the past. Now, he really didn't get a fair shake a couple of elections ago in 2006. He probably won the popular vote and by uh, skullduggery at the ballot box and in other places he was denied the presidency. He's probably not the best man for the job, I would say, as a Trump supporter. But the fact that Tillerson has begun to talk about this is very interesting because Perhaps there's a dark horse candidate that he would like to bring to the forefront in the man Tomas Yarrington, who is in United States custody because he's been accused of uh, drug charges and bribery, that is collusion with the drug cartels. The final story will come out about uh, Yarrington in the near future. However, only the groundwork has been laid. Tillerson went down, and the thing that hit the news in the Spanish newspapers, Spanish language newspapers, was that he was concerned about the possibility of Russian collusion. If that happened, it would be in support of uh, Manuel Lopez Obrador, the candidate that's referred to by his initials, AMLO. And of course, Tillerson and Trump would not be big supporters of a hand picked, uh, colluded, non popularly elected successor to the current president. In Peru, this is where the uh, next stop will be uh, by Mr. Tillerson. We'll see what he discusses there. Right now he's in Argentina and there's discussion of uh, what's in the news is uh, discussion of preservation of ecological reserves in uh, Argentina. Now, this is probably a stepping off point for him to begin to talk about the energy crunch that's going on in Argentina. The latter president, the former president, uh, Fernandez de Kirchner, Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner, was making deals with Iran because there's a real oil uh, problem getting oil with Argentina and there's talk that there uh, was an arrangement of trading Argentinian wheat for Iranian oil and what Mrs. Uh, Fernandez de Kirchner is now indicted for what there's a warrant for her arrest about is her covering up Iranian involvement in different bombings and the uh, court the reading of the court cases is the supposition is that uh, she was covering up Iranian involvement because she wanted to reach out more to Iran. She had already reached out significantly to China and that has caused its own problems. Next stop is Peru. We'll see what uh, the Secretary of State is up to in Peru, but this is a fabulous nation. Uh, there's a strong center-right contingency in the legislature and uh, perhaps that will quickly manifest in the presidency. We'll see. It's the only place that a, a sitting president has been convicted, arrested abroad, locked up, and now he's been uh, pardoned. So we'll, we'll see what happens in uh, Peru. In Chile, which is not a stop for uh, Mr. Tillerson, but it's a stop that the Pope made. Three different Catholic churches were firebombed before the Pope got there. And then when he got there, he found that the uh, pedophilia scandals had blown wide open sky high and were uh, endemically being discussed in the nation. Everyone's talking about uh, the papal abuse and the abuse of uh, children by priests and the Catholic Church's involvement in all of that. So there's really a, a second reformation going on in the Latin nations of the world wanting to get the Pope out of their business. And uh, it seems to me 
that the uh, Secretary of State is opening the door for more United States involvement, perhaps between Mexico and Argentina, there are the beginnings of a negotiation for uh, Mexican petroleum to be received in Argentina and there to be a greater trading uh, there in the, in the South American bloc. He's also going to stop in Colombia, really a failed state at this point, and he will not stop in Venezuela, which is uh, absolutely at this point a failed state, but there, there's talk of United States military involvement in, uh, in their regime change, although Tillerson's remarks in the Latin countries, he's really been prodded about that. Is the United States going to involve themselves in this? There's kind of been a, a counter... Uh, imperialist line of questioning presented to him, and Tillerson has a answered that very carefully, saying, I believe that the Venezuelan people can resolve this for themselves. That is an expectation of a regime change and, and an ousting of uh, President Maduro of Venezuela by the Venezuelan people and perhaps by a, a uh, coup by the Venezuelan military. So uh, he was prepared for those questions. He's answered them very deftly. He has uh, really denied that the U.S. was going to get in and do the heavy lifting, but he's put confidence in the people of uh, Venezuela to uh, resolve the matter themselves and to stand up for freedom and, and really what is the American tradition. So we'll see what happens there. He will not be visiting the uh, nation of Venezuela. There's nothing to eat there, and it's really a war zone. He will visit Colombia, and uh, his last stop is going to be Jamaica, and uh, we'll, we will see what he does there.